Welcome back to the next part of our series of interviews with Seymour Hirsch, famed writer for The New Yorker magazine. In his latest piece, Preparing the Battlefield, Seymour Hirsch says that after Iranian patrol boats had a confrontation with the American Navy last January, public support for a more militant posture towards Iran rose. This was not a lesson that was passed by the vice president. Seymour Hirsch writes, the public had supported the idea of retaliation and was even asking why the U.S. didn't do more. The former official said that a few weeks later, a meeting took place in the vice president's office. Quote, the subject was how to create a Cossus belly between Tehran and Washington, he said. Joining me now once again is Seymour Hirsch of The New Yorker. Seymour, just what are the special ops doing in Iran, and just how is it connected to that meeting with Dick Cheney? You don't have much popular, popular support in America for bombing Iran. The one poll I cited, a Gallup poll, hasn't been a lot of polling on it, but one poll I cited uh, last fall, 73%, I think, was the number. Of, uh, of the Americans think at first blush we should talk rather than bomb Iran. You know, we're not doing so well in the, war, in the two wars we're in now in Afghanistan and Iraq where I expanded. And so their problem is to get more public support if they're going to do something kinetically, you know, bomb or some other kind of action against Iran, direct action. They have to get more public support. So one of the things the special operations troops are doing is trying to uh, escalate the amount of incidents inside uh, Iran trying to get more stuff going, more, more terrorism, more bombings, more, more, more internal disturbances and hopes maybe in the fantasy football world in the vice president's office and hopes that the Iranian government would crack down on the minorities big time. And then you could have some sort of contratemp that could maybe you know, not only generate bad press, bad press for them but give us a vehicle for going in. Another thing I wrote about was uh, uh, there's a uh, Jet Joint Special Operation Command controls the uh, has been delegated by the president to be the uh, agent, the uh, action, uh, the action for agent uh, when it comes to high value targets, and that is that uh, those are the people we have determined to be a very a grave Al Qaeda or what you will people are, who are out to hurt us, or our European allies, and um, uh, JSOC, the acronym for this group, uh, are the hunter killers, and they're a very elite unit and um, very under the radar. They often dress um, uh, not in uniform. And they have the right, basically, the world's a, um, a uh, free fire zone for them. They can basically go anywhere in the world when they're chasing a high value target, find him, capture him, or kill him, they take your choice, uh, without telling the American ambassador or the CIA. So they're tough people. And one of the things they're doing is they've gone into Iran, so I've been told, with a high value target list, the only thing I know specifically is a couple of nuclear, Iranian nuclear scientists believed to be involved in the bomb project. And I think one goal might be, I'm guessing, I'm not guessing, I, I've been told this, but it's not empirical. I mean, I don't really, I'm not sure, but it seems logical if you're going to drag out a, if you're going to kidnap an Iranian scientist and bring him back to the West, you're, you're going to hope he's going to tell you about, you know, secret bomb factories or bomb arsenals that may or may not exist. And so what they're doing is, that's the Casas Belli they're looking for. And they did have a meeting after that incident, because there was something interesting in that incident. Meeting, meeting at Cheney's office? Yes, well, wherever it was. It was in the White, somewhere in the Situation Room with the White House. And it was about uh, thinking of ways to be creative to get, to get us and create public, a, a, a public support for the war. What they noticed in the, in the incident with uh, the PT boats in January is that although everything was turned out to be basically not accurate that the government said, you know, there, there weren't mines and there wasn't the confrontation people thought was sort of blown up. It was definitely blown up. The public supported it. 